All right, welcome back everyone. So I haven't been posting too much detailing stuff lately is because I've been kind of working on ordering all my brake stuff for the Grand Prix. Uh, because I'm going to do the GXP brake swap on that, uh, on my car. Uh, these, these calipers came off of a 2007 Pontiac Grand Prix GXP that I found at the salvage yard. It's a direct swap into a 97 to 03 Grand Prix, which is my body style. And so mine's a 99, it's going to be a direct swap. The only thing I've, you really need to get are new front lines. So I, I've just ordered brand new Delco uh, rubber lines for the front. And it's uh, due to the location of the um, the bleeder here. But uh, the back, you can still use your existing stock lines. So this weekend, I've been kind of... Some of my parts came in, as I mentioned. Uh, you know, I already have my brake pads. Uh, so these brake pads are the Akabono brake pads. The only downside when ordering these pads, when I opened them, is they didn't come with the hardware, you know, the clips or anything like that, that hold the, uh, the pads in place here against the, the brackets. So I had to order those, and that's what's in these two little boxes. One set for the front, one set for the rear. Uh, and it came with some other rebuild stuff in there too. So I'll be re re rebuilding the uh, these areas here where the uh, slide pin go in. So I'll be they came with brand new ones of those. So those are the brake pads. Uh, so I cleaned up all the the parts here so the the brackets are as clean as possible. And we're gonna go ahead and paint those as well. I'm waiting for the new kit here so I can re replace the rubber boots uh, for this uh, front caliper here. The rear calipers, I've already changed out the rubber boot here and the rubber um, O-ring inside and I cleaned up the the piston here. Now these, uh, because they're so old, the paint's starting to come off so these are will be repainted. Uh, I'm going to keep them period correct so they are going to be red again. Uh, so they're going to have a red, a red caliper and a red caliper bracket. You know, the caliper brackets were not painted for for that year. Uh, so those, these are the brackets for those. Uh, the front kit here, so this front one here has damage. Uh, that car had front end damage. And uh, I believe this is probably from the wheel when it uh, had the impact on it. But it's got a bunch of chips on here um, in, the, in the original red powder coat. Um, you can see all the paint that's, that's coming off. So I'll be uh, painting this with the G2 caliper uh, paint kit. So we're, we have, we've got that. Uh, as I said I was replacing the rubber boots here because both all the rubber boots on the, especially on the front ones, the back ones were fine. It's the, but I wanted new boots on there just to kind of rebuild the caliper so I can have uh, new parts on there and they can last uh, quite a bit of time. Um, but the rubber boots were torn on both front ones, and that's probably you know all this paint probably came off because of uh, brake fluid. Now the kit that I got for this one. So if I pull it out, you guys can actually see. So this here, if I move that here, this is that rubber O-ring that you have to replace. And it comes in the kit. These are the eccentric kit here. Um, but the reason I didn't finish this one is because this one came defective and it has a tear on it. And so I can't put this one back in because this is a dust boot. And so I'm just, I just want to order another kit. Should be here Monday. This one should be here on Sunday. So. Really easy to do. I actually should order new pistons because they're rust. They have a little bit of rust inside, but it'll be just fine. So uh, again, really easy to do if you have some mechanical skill to kind of change out your um, your your seals and, and uh, the boot. So we've got that. I've got the front two new front brake lines. You don't need this, the rear ones. Uh, so if you have a 97 to 03, you can use re reuse your stock brake lines. You have the option to get the ZZP. Uh, stainless steel brake lines, if, uh, but just make sure you get the set that has the longer front ones. Uh, so I'm not going to do stainless steel, I'm just going to do these uh, rubber lines. Again, I just drive my car to and from work, around town, you know, if I go to Costco, uh, if I go to Adams Polishes in Anaheim, or if I go to uh, McGuire's Thursday Night Garage, you know, I'll drive that. Uh, the rotors, these are the Napa Premium Rotors. Uh, I believe these are made by Raybestos. Uh, but the rear ones, so the picture is deceiving when they, on on the site, they're supposed to have a black rotor hat, a completely black rotor hat, and this piece is only uh, painted black here. Uh, the rear is a 12-inch rotor, 
and the front is a 12.7 so they actually just say they round it up to 13 uh, this is a, this thing's a monster too so I, I forget the factory size I want to say it's a 10 and a half or 11 inch rotor I forget what it is it's been so long since I've changed out the rotors on mine uh, so I can I forget so uh, one thing I will do is I'm going to be painting the rotor hats black so I have some VHT caliper paint uh, for that uh, and then we'll go over the Grand Prix here and I'll show you what the factory breaks on so in order for you to run that kit you need uh, 17 inch or 18 inch wheels 17 inch or bigger and so these uh, I have the front General Motors performance part bracket which is found on the police and Paula package as well and it allows me to run a bigger rotor I think I believe it's a 12 inch rotor uh, but the, you keep your factory piston, which is a single piston caliper. Uh, that's what I meant. Uh, it's, it's a single piston caliper. It just allows you to run the bigger rotor for more surface area. Uh, so it should look pretty good in here with the with the red uh, caliper. Uh, leaking, uh, looking through here. So I just want to keep those pure correct and keep them red. I've never done red on this car uh, in terms of caliper. Uh, colors I've always done uh, black or silver. And then here's the rear one. You can see how small this one is. Uh, so the rear ones should fill in a lot more than what I have now. And I think the red will go pretty good because I got the red tail lights and the red arrowhead in the front, the factory badge. So uh, that's what's going on with the, the Grand Prix. That's kind of just keeping me busy as I'm going along. I'll show you a, a after of me after I um, paint the calipers, and you guys can actually check it out, and then. Uh, since I'm going to have the wheels off, I'm going to recoat the wheels at that point as well. Um, you know, I have a coating in, in mind of of doing the wheels, and then once I do that, I am going to be recoating the the lower portion of the car. I'm going to recoat again, take off this IGL Kenzo. So I'm going to do that during the Fourth of July week. Uh, this car will be uh, recoated. Uh, I'll probably just do the PNS Legend. Uh, and their uh, one-year topper coating uh, sole unless you guys have any other recommendations you want to see but I think I'm gonna go with with that combination and I'd be interested to kind of see how that uh, combo compares to like G Technicrystal light and uh, UK top with SIC uh, with UK top with SIC I kind of just think of that as uh, UK top with TIO2 it's just an upgraded thing similar performance though uh, but again, we'll just do PNS Legend. I think I'm here, and like I said, unless you guys want to see something different, you know, graphing or something or another ceramic on here. I think I'm gonna just do ceramic on this on this guy, and kind of give graphing a break on this guy. So um, that's really it going forward. So quick update on, on on the progress of the calipers and the plans for the Grand Prix here. So you're gonna see some slight changes to it. I'm gonna ch be changing the center cap coloring scheme. Uh, same design just a different color scheme on here um, all right so if you guys have any comments or questions go ahead and post them down below but that's the plan going forward and um, again thanks for watching